Welcome back to another episode of What Have I Got Myself Into. We're at a beautiful oceanfront home that doesn't have a beautiful ceiling because somebody decided to add some unnecessary soffit vents on this drywall ceiling. We're getting some condensation at each one of these, which is causing the peeling that you see. We had a roofer out and he's saying there's plenty of ventilation without these vents and that the pool is the culprit of the condensation. So what we're gonna do is repair all 16 of these holes, skim coat the ceiling, do a skip trowel finish, prime and paint. I'm not gonna show you how I do all 16 holes, but I am gonna show you the step-by-step -step process on this ceiling repair. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing a skip trowel texture instead of a knockdown texture, simply because the skip trowel's done by hand. If you do a knockdown, it's gonna be a lot more covering of the walls because it's a spray texture. So just gonna repair these holes individually and then skim coat and do the skip trowel texture. I know having exterior drywall isn't a common practice in all parts of the country, but here our back patios, pool and eyes, all have drywall exterior ceilings. It's actually a drywall exterior soffit board. So stay tuned for the repairs. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, so the first thing I need to do is remove any of the leftover soffit vents and scrape back of any peeling areas. As you can see, it's just right around those soffit vents where the condensation was building up. There's also a couple cracks I'm gonna be repairing on this ceiling. It's pretty hideous right now, but it's really gonna be mind blowing of how good this ceiling looks after I complete this project. What I did is I cut a piece of drywall just fit over that hole and then trace it out with a pencil. Super simple to get a perfect cut every time. Once you do that, you're just gonna have to cut it with your razor knife right along the line. Helps to have a nice sharp blade when cutting drywall like this. There's actually another sheet of drywall underneath this one. So it was a double layer of drywall. Not sure if they overlaid it first after they did the soffit vent holes, but they're going away. So next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is place the furring strips in the hole. I cut them about two inches wider than the hole, that way you can have some meat to add your screws to. This is gonna help you attach that piece of drywall that I traced out. So I'm using longer screws on this because it's a double layer. If it's a single layer, you can get away with just inch and a quarter drywall screws. I'm using two inch. So you want to get the existing drywall secured on the outside of the cutout. before you install the drywall. I'm just using a one by three furring strip. You can also use plywood, whatever you have available. I do not recommend one by twos because they will split. Let me know in the comments if you're a DIYer, painter, contractor, handyman, just kind of curious. I'm putting a little pressure on the furring strip so it doesn't move or anything. We don't want to blow out where the screw's going in. Next, you just want to place your sheet of drywall in there that you pre previously cut out and attach it. Probably need about three screws on each side. You could probably do two but I just wanna make sure it's secured pretty good. Like I said, I had 12 of these. I'm just showing you one. No sense in showing 12. Be uh, a few hour long video.
You don't want to break the paper when you put the screws in. You just want to barely go below the surface. Might be a little overkill with the screws, but hey, yeah, I know it's solid and not going to move or crack. I'm going to be using a fiberglass mesh tape and a 20 minute quick set joint compound by USG. Make sure you always hit a framing member, you don't want to leave any screws that don't hit anything. All right, there's some of the right. drywall the bones and the soffit vents that I removed. Cut out the drywall. Got the cut pieces of drywall in and place. Strips. I do have a dusty drywall. surface still where the texture was scraped back for the from the condensation. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit that with a spray primer called kills in a spray can just, so much makes it really easy and it dries pretty fast and also blocks any stains that the water so might have left kills, fiber tape and then 20 minute uh, usg sheetrock cotton mud so basically i'm just going to hit all around the perimeter and any bare spots that it had been scraped back just to seal it up and get rid of any dusty surface. You don't want to spray it too heavy or too light. You just want to get good coverage. And like I said, it's a stain blocking primer called Kills. So not only does it prime, it's going to block any stains from the water. And it also helps the fiberglass mesh have something to stick to because it doesn't stick real well to a dusty surface. All right, I already mixed up my 20 minute mud and I'm gonna apply it to the joints. It doesn't have to be perfect or pretty on this first coat. Just gotta get it up there and make sure everything's covered. With the 20 minute hot mud, you have about 15 minutes of working time before it starts to set up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you me mudding these four holes just so you can get a feel for it. I like to hold my mud pan underneath where I'm pulling the mud. That way if anything falls off, it goes right back in the pan instead of on the tarps or plastic that we have. That way you're not dragging mud around on your feet. So what I'll be doing is one more coat of 20 minute mud over once this dries, and then I'm gonna skim coat the whole ceiling. I'll leave a card in the YouTube card above to the next video, which is gonna be, be me skim coating and doing the skip trial texture. Once I upload that, I'll put it in a card and you can just click on that. I'll also put all the videos in the description once they're uploaded. All right, one more hole to get first coat. Just getting it up there and then I'll just pull it smooth. I'm using a 12 inch stainless steel drywall taping knife. If you go to my Amazon store, which is an affiliate store that I do get a small commission on, it does not raise the price on your tools. I just get a commission. All right, I'm doing one last coat on these repairs before I skim coat. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm skim coating. So you just want to get it up there and smooth it out and not leave too big of an edge. Now, if you're not going to be de doing skim coating, you'll want to get it a little tighter on the pulls. Leave me a hashtag drywall tube down in the comments if you're enjoying these videos. And stay tuned for part two where I'm going to show you how I skim coat over the knockdown texture on this exterior drywall ceiling. 
and also how I applied the skip trowel texture. And if you're new to the channel, my name's Paul and I've been a drywall and painting contractor for over 20 years. If you're looking to step up your drywall, texturing, or painting game, be sure to hit that subscribe button in the center of the screen now to keep up with all my latest videos. Look me up on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks so much for watching.